unfold here in game number two. I'm James Sabalski along with Ray Ferraro as EA Sports continues our playoff coverage. Really looking forward to this one tonight. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Fails to find the open man. Oh, that goes off the mask, and it stays out. Oh, man, James, there's lots of times I'm happy I'm sitting here in a suit. That's one of them. Can you imagine taking that puck right between the eyes? That can't feel very good. Sends it ahead to Malkin. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Icing is the call. We'll get a face-up at the other end. Pedersen's got that third eye zone ability, which means he's fantastic at making those difficult passes to create the perfect chance for his teammates. Crosby's known for switching to the backhand, and for good reason. His beauty backhand zone ability makes those shots hard for the goalie to read. Look out for one of these players to be a big factor in tonight's game. James and Ray, back to you. Vancouver's got the puck. Slides the puck across to Pedersen. The Canucks take it across the blue line. There's a shot. Tremendous blocker stopped by the Smith. Mulkin stick handling in his own zone. Here's a short pass to Pedersen. And look at this. We've got a two on one. Scores! Vancouver's weathered the storm here, and they've taken a 1-0 lead. Always better to play from in front, and they'll want to expand this lead as quickly as they can. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. And it's a quick pass to McGinn. The Penguins will play it from the corner. Right in the low slot. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Sends it quickly to Garland. The Penguins have it against the wall. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. Skates to the crease. Oh, what a stop as he gets a piece of it with his toe. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Centering pass. Hammers a shot. That's blocked. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Edmund Larson. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Hoaglander. The Smith's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Nearing the midway mark of the period, the Canucks lead it 1-0. The Penguins win it in the defensive zone. Tries to get the puck to rust. Here's a pass down low. Dickinson's got the puck in his own zone. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Here's a shot. Scores! That's two unanswered now. Now oh, they stayed right on it. Once they got that first one, they just pushed the pace of this. Now they get another. The Canucks have made it a double here in the first. You want to start the game and try and get out in front? That second one makes them feel real good. Bluger's one possession. Takes it across the blue line. With possession along the wall. Quick feed down low. The Penguins take it from the side. Puck scooped up by Hunt. And he passes it up ahead to Mott. And that's offside stopping the play. More than half the frame has been played here. Vancouver's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. And now it's grabbed by Joseph. The Penguins looking against the half wall. Myers carries the puck in his own zone. Picked up along the wall by Cousins. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Joseph. Slides it diagonally to Simon. Takes it to the front. What a shot he scores! Oh, man, the goalie thought he had this covered, James. You can tell from his body language, but it beats him, hits the post, and goes in. 
You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. In the final moments of this period, Pittsburgh's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. And they won't connect on that one. Here's a shot. Scores! It's like an endless supply of goals. It doesn't ever seem to be a stop to this. Somebody scores, you know or feel like there's another one coming very quickly. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Pittsburgh's won the draw in the neutral zone. Moves it to Goudreau. And now he tries to get it across to Besser. There's a collision. And they'll dump it in. The Penguins have it now. Moves it around along the half wall. Crosby's taking the puck behind the net. Sends it down low. Quick pass to Malkin. Cuts to the front. Glove saved by the goalie. The most fun save for the goaltender, the glove stop. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Eckholm. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Inside the final minute of the first here. And that's intercepted by Carter. Oh, textbook hook check to turn that over. Takes the pass. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. There's the buzzer, 20 minutes in the books, second period just around the corner. Period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. Pittsburgh's won it. Gains the zone from the right. Drives it to the crease. Too much traffic in the lane. The Penguins gain possession oh, of the boy. puck here in the offensive end. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. We're still in the early stages of this period. Vancouver's got a 3-1 lead. Pittsburgh's got it, and they're on the attack. Hammers a shot. Play is whistled dead as the puck goes up and over. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. The Penguins win the face-off. Musa quickly over to Crosby. Receives the pass. The Penguins have the puck in the corner. Oh, and it stays out with the toe save. And that's broken up. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Besser's taking a nasty whack, and that's going to draw a penalty. Poked away in the defensive end. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Mulkin's hack, not a popular one in the eyes of the officials here. The Canucks get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Their first power play of the night. They've worked on it, and it starts with the faceoff. Win the draw, start moving the puck quickly before you shoot it. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Across the line from center. The Penguins take it along the wall. Handles the puck at the point. That pass doesn't go. Enters the offensive zone from the left. To the front, and he comes up with it. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. 
Pittsburgh's got it in the offensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Pittsburgh's got the puck now. From the point, looks to make something happen. The Penguins gain possession in the defensive zone. Bluger swooping in on the attack. With the backhand. Vancouver's got it behind the net. Here they come up along the wing. Takes the feed from the left side. And he totally whiffs on it. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Can't get it to go. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. And he whiffs on it. Angles it over to Crosby. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. Pearson's got it into offensive territory. Scrum ensues along the boards. Miller's moving the puck through his own zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Moves into the slot. Scooped up along the wall by Miller. And the puck's kicked free. Slides the pass over to Lafferty. Here's a short pass to Latang. And that goes off a player in front. Keeps hold of the puck. The Penguins get their man back out of the box. Whoa. Stars and Steel City's loving that. This is a tough shot. You don't have a lot of room because the goaltender can use his whole upper body to make the save. High stick, he gets beat again. That's a nice shot. Pittsburgh's got one back. Finally, all that effort has paid off. The coaches have been telling them, stay at it, stay at it. Finally, with all the possession time they've had, they get rewarded. Here he is, shot right in front. And he comes up big with the stick shame, getting all of it with the paddle. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Well, the first job's going to be to kill this penalty off, James, but maybe they take a chance down a goal to see if they can get a shorty. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Pittsburgh's got him along the wall. And that's intercepted by Pedersen. Vancouver's read the play just perfectly tonight. It's like they have the book of the way the game is going to be played. Every time there is a moment of space that's available, they seem to shut it off. Tosses it on to Lafferty. And here's a pass to Rust. Can't get a hold of that pass. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends a pass over. Maintains possession. Moves it to Besser. Denies him! The Smith's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Pedersen's great at finding his teammates with passes nobody expects him to make, guys. His third eye zone ability and his high hockey IQ allows him to make plays that nobody sees coming. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Gains the zone from the right side. Drives to the sweet spot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Demko. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Sends the pass over. Rings the bell off the post. The Canucks quickly started to look at the tablets on the bench to see if that puck hit the post and went in or crossed the line. It didn't, and the lead will remain the same. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Here we go, goaltenders at the bench. They've got the extra attacker out with the delayed penalty. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Oh, you can see the frustration right away, James. Short-handed now, and only a one-goal lead. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. Once you get the puck on four on four, just don't give it up. You've got space. Use it. Takes the feed. Along the half wall with the puck. Scores! Oh, leave it up! It's amazing, isn't it? We played this time, and now it doesn't matter. It's like we're right back at the beginning again. That's a big goal. He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. 
Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. Miller's won it. Taken by Eckholm. Takes the feet at the back end. Quick pass to Miller. Oh, what a stop with the glove by DeSmith. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. The Penguins' penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Carter's got it against the boards. Cuts to the paint. Gives them nothing in front. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Dickinson's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Buck is dropped and we are back underway. That win will help them get organized defensively. The Penguins played along the wing. Puts it on goal. And that one's turned away. Demko's gonna slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you gotta kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Latang's got great skating skills, even when he's moving backwards, guys. That's his in-reverse zone ability, and that's how he faces forward so effortlessly, even when he's backing up. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Takes the feed. Here he is from the slot. Oh, what a chance, and he puts it wide of the net. Good delivery, he got rid of that in a hurry, but he ends up missing the net. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. Nice pass. Here's a shot. Glove save. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Looks to make a play over to Crosby. Vancouver's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Horvath's ready to go. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. Obviously a pretty important time in the game. The PK does a good job. Keeps this game tied. Pittsburgh's in transition. Puck grabbed by Malkin. Quick feed to Miller. The Canucks carry it along the wall. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Poked away in the offensive end. Skates across the blue line. From the point, they take control of it. Blocked by Demko. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Great hand eye by the goaltender, poking it away. Who's the puck? Miller's gonna play it against the half wall. Stopped by the goaltender. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Moves it quickly over to McGinn. Puts it into the back of the net for the goal! Yeah, breaks this tie, James. You know when these teams get locked up tight, sometimes it stays that way a long time. This is a really good shot, but the goaltender waves at it, doesn't get the glove on it, and it goes in. The Penguins set up back at center, now up by one. A long time coming. You work hard to get yourself into the position to lead. Now you want to start the third period with this lead. Vancouver's moving it into the offensive end. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Here's a short pass to McGinn. Back at the point, they set it up. McGinn's dangerous in the offensive zone. He's got it now, and he's already got the go-ahead goal. With the stop. And that's poked away by Simone. Makes a move in front. Handles the puck. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Can't connect on the pass. Puck picked up by Messer. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And he makes the save on that play. But he came out and challenged a good save. Here's a chance, fires the wrist shot. A 
Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. And there's the horn bringing the second period to an end. All right, they say three is the magic number. Period number three is coming up next. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. It's been quite the night of fireworks thus far. Let's see what this third period can do to keep up. Once again, I'll send it back down. He scores! Make that four straight! They seem stunned. Like, they cannot stem the tide. The four straight goals have been just a dominating stretch of play. Ha! Huh. Better to be lucky than good. This thing bounces around and somehow evades the goaltender. I don't even really know how that ended up in the net. The Penguins are now up by two in the third. Really have played a good game to this point, and now you want to make sure that you continue to play in the same style. Puck scooped up by Malkin. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Myers works the puck in his own zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Moves inside! Battle along the boards. Sucker's taking it from his own end. Crosby's got it across the line. Quick snap! He scores! Sidney Crosby, Sid the Kid! He doesn't need too many chances to score. That's one of the reasons he leads his team in goals. He's got a great finish when he gets the opportunity. Pittsburgh's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro School of Hockey here. Just be aggressive, goal when after goal. Man, when you score, go get another one. You've got the other team down, go get more. Because you make yourself feel better, you build your own confidence, and you put this thing on cruise control. Moves it to Goudreau. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Throws it on goal. Denied by Demko. Demko's no different than anybody else tonight. I mean, that's a good stop that he makes, but he hasn't been very good as the team has played rather poorly. The centermen glide into position. Vancouver's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Myers plays it now. The Canucks move to the offensive zone. Poked away at center by Latang. Moves it to Miller. And now he angles it across to Horvath. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. Kapanen's got the puck. Takes the feed. Carter's got it behind the net. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Pittsburgh's got the puck behind the net. Oh, aggressive move as he pokes it away. Quick pass to Horvat. Sends it across. The Penguins look to start the transition game. Unable to reach that one. Off the left wing and into center. Here's a chance and makes the save. And he slides it quickly to Rust. Unleashes a cannon! Slides the puck over. Quick feed to Ekman Larson. Batted down out of midair. Takes the feed from his netminder. The Penguins grab possession to the puck. Oh, a clutch save! Demko's brilliance on display here. Scores! this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. The Penguins have been all over them tonight, and it continues here in this third. They haven't taken their foot off the accelerator for one second tonight. I've been really impressed how they've dominated this game. And now it's grabbed by Aston Reese. Denies him in front. We've seen just about every type of goal so far tonight. And we're not finished yet, James. 
This has no look of a game that's going to get locked down anytime soon. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. The Penguins gain control of the puck. Oh, what a save by Demko. Well, he's known for this. That backhand shot is so dangerous. It's an unpredictable delivery. Here he is in front. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Vancouver's moving it along the wing. On the attack along the boards. Slides the puck to Zucker. The Penguins are on the attack. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. I see what he's doing, James. He's got some room and he's got great hands, but that's probably not the best place on the ice to make that move. Besser's got it in the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Goudreau. And they keep the pressure on. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Besser. Makes the save. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. And offside, we'll get a reset here. Crosby's certainly in a confident state here. His point streak's extending, and he wants to keep it going. Who had the edge? Carlin's standing by with the answer. Pedersen's impressed me with his play in this matchup, guys. He was able to get in on the scoring, and even though both players we've highlighted have points, I've liked his game a little bit more. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. Simone's lugging the puck. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. Takes the feed at the point. Stick save, denies him, and I think that was off the shaft. Great reach with the poke check. Taken by Bluger. Taken along the wall by Simone. Makes his presence known on the ice. And that one's blocked. And now it's over to Mott. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And he regains control of the puck. And that one's broken up. Here's a shot. And we are all over with this one. Well, anybody who thought that this was going to be a quick series has been sorely mistaken after tonight. At the very least, you drop that first game. All you can think about is not the big picture, it's the small one. We need to split the first two games. They did a really good job. Yeah, mission accomplished tonight. Crazy how there's all these elements to a win now. Victory songs, celebrations, and a salute. Yeah, it's way better than losing. <laughs> big time. And that's all she wrote on this one for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Cebulski. We'll see you next time here on EA Sports.